Hey there folks, welcome to the channel and welcome to Celebrate Sausage. In today's episode, we're gonna be making a spicy smoked Hungarian sausage. And I'd like to thank Smokin' It Smokers for sponsoring this episode. Smokin' It Smokers is a USA-based manufacturer of digital and analog smokers. They've got all kinds of accessories, cold smokers, basically anything you need to smoke just about whatever you want. Check the description box below for a link to their website. Let's talk sausage. The Hungarian sausage, in my opinion, is incredible. It delivers complex layers of flavor from the smoke to the sweet and hot paprikas and the different spices that are used. It's got a great texture, incredibly juicy, and the sausage is incredibly versatile. It could be eaten by itself or added to your favorite dish for an elevated culinary experience. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through step-by-step -step on how to make this fabulous sausage so you can have it anytime. Let's get started. Let's take a look at what we're working with. This is an all pork sausage. I've already cut up my back fat into small pieces. Not a problem there. And we are gonna be using pork shoulder. And so we're just gonna process the pork shoulder the same way, cut it up into small pieces. Right, there we go. Our meat and fat's been cut up into small pieces. This is perfect. Let's go ahead and pop it into the freezer. As we look at our spices, we've got salt. We're going to be adding cure number one. I'm also going to be adding pepper. If you're going to make a Hungarian sausage, you got to use Hungarian paprika. I'll put a link for this specific brand of paprika. It really makes it. So we're going to be using a hot and a sweet version of Hungarian paprika in this sausage. And we're also gonna be adding some minced garlic. Finally, we're gonna come back with just a touch of caraway. And that's it. Our meat is now ready to grind. It's, as you can see, very, very cold. Under 32 Fahrenheit uh, is ideal. It's gonna give us a very clean grind and it's not gonna smear our fat. So let's go ahead and grind that up on a number six plate. That looks beautiful. Let's go ahead and mix it up. If the temperature of your meat has risen too much, I recommend re-chilling it for about a half an hour. Keep that temperature down. We want the temperature of our meat below 34 Fahrenheit at all times. 32 is preferable. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. Let's add our spices. And as for the liquid, you can add whatever liquid you want. I'm just gonna come back in with a little bit of water. Not a big deal. And we're gonna mix this until our meat mixture gets nice and tacky. The amount of time you're mixing your meat may be different than mine, depending on how you mix it, but a very clear indicator that you've mixed it enough is that when you grab a small handful, it should stick to your hand. And what that means is that you've extracted enough protein to create a glue-like matrix for your sausage that's gonna give it that bind that we're looking for. So let's turn our hand upside down. There we go, it sticks to our hand. This looks absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and get this into a casing we're going to be using standard hog casings from the sausage maker. The size here is 28, 32 millimeter. You could put this in whatever casing you have on hand. I don't think it makes that big of a difference. It's been soaking and rehydrating in some water that's had baking soda added to it. We add roughly a teaspoon per quart of water and it's been rinsed out. Now that baking soda is going to help lubricate the sausage. It's not going to tenderize it. I'm going to put a little water on the horn, put a little water in that casing and just watch how easy this slips on. I mean, just bang, no problem. If you're having a tough time, re-lubricate the casing or reduce the size of your horn. All right, so let's go ahead and get this sausage stuffed. I'm gonna be putting minimal pressure on this particular sausage. I'm looking for about a medium firmness. So with my fingers on my right hand, I'm just barely squeezing on that casing as that meat's coming out. And then I'm just guiding it with my left hand. Now we are using an electric sausage stuffer from the sausage maker, so it makes stuffing sausages incredibly easy. Once we're done, we're gonna clean out that tube with that sausage stuffing horn, and it's time to link. So a medium firmness is gonna allow me to link these sausages very easy. You don't want it too firm, you don't want it too loose. It does take a little bit of practice, but all we're gonna do is alternate the way we twist. Three forward, the next link gets three backwards, so on and so forth. And this is what our sausage is gonna look like once we're done. Let's go ahead and link this last one. Very good. And give it a tie. 
Okay, so this particular sausage is going to be smoked. We do want to prick out any potential air pockets that were formed during the stuffing stage, and it looks like we only had one or two. We're going to place this onto a rack and into the refrigerator. We need to let that cure work before we cook it, so it has to refrigerate overnight, which will also allow those spices to come together, really enhance the flavor. The next day, we're going to smoke it. So I'm going to start pretty early, and the first thing I want to do is dry out the sausage. So we're using a digital smoker from smoking it. I'm going to set my temperature to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour and a half, and we're going to leave the door open. After an hour and a half, we should be able to start applying smoke and increase the temp. Because we're smoking at such low temperatures, I am going to be using a cold smoke generator to really bring in that smoke on the front end, and that's going to give this sausage a lot of flavor. If you don't have a cold smoke generator, you can always throw in wood chips and apply your smoke towards the latter part of your cook. It's up to you. So we're going to close this off, and here's what my cooking schedule looks like for these sausage. Now, because we're using a digital smoker, this is very easy to achieve. We start off at 100 for an hour and a half to dry the sausage. Next, it bumps up to 125 for an hour and a half to apply smoke. Then we're at 155, 175, and then 200 degrees Fahrenheit till we get to an internal of about 145. I'm going to have the cooking schedule in the recipe box, but if you have a digital smoker from smoking it, this all happens automatically. You don't have to worry about a single thing. It's been six hours. The internal temperature has reached 145. Look at these babies. Absolutely beautiful color. They smell amazing. Let's go ahead and cool them down. We're cooling these sausages down so that they don't shrivel up. If you don't cool your sausages down, they'll tend to take on like a shriveled appearance. All right, so our sausages have been cooled down to room temperature. We're going to go ahead and just let them sit on our counter as they bloom. Once they're done blooming, you can refrigerate, you can freeze, you can save for later. I'm going to take these sausages, reheat them up, and give them a taste. Smoked Hungarian sausage, absolutely beautiful. I'm loving the color, smooth slice, tight casing. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, and those paprikas. I think they make the sausage. Don't substitute the paprika for Spanish paprika or just regular paprika that you get at the store. Try to get your hands on Hungarian paprika if you want the real deal. Mm, let's just give it a bite. That is a really, really tasty sausage. Very juicy, nice and smoky, not too spicy. The flavor is incredible. And the texture is spot on. I hope you get a chance to make this smoked Hungarian sausage. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a great big thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. We're in the middle of Celebrate Sausage, a month full of daily uploads, sausage making recipes. I don't want you to miss a single episode. Thanks for being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.